Hi, Dale Abraka here, and I got something special, something different, something unusual that I've never done before. Well, I've done it before, but this is the first time I'm actually recording it. What I'm going to actually do is mash up fishing and balloons. I know there's a lot of people who follow me on Facebook who always love my fishing photos, and there's a whole group of people who love my balloon stuff. So I thought today I would mix both of them together. So this is going to be something fun. It's a different treat. Comment below if you like this. Make sure you click on notification if, uh, you know, just to follow along. But today I'm going to mash up, like I say, fishing and balloons. And this is something I've done in the past, but I'm going to do it today. See what, what actually happens. And today I'm, I'm going to use smiley face balloons. And I want to be environmentally safe here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double stuff. I got my stuffing machine here. My little stuffing balloon. I'm going to put one balloon inside the other. This way, when I inflate it and I attach it, in case it, it pops in the heat, the only one balloon pops, double stuffed. It's not going to do too crazy. And I'm going to use a heart balloon. I'm going to use a green heart balloon. I don't know if there's much of a difference. I'm going to double stuff these two. This is going to be a fun task, double stuffing these. I really don't double stuff green balloons. I double stuff hearts, that is, period. Never really had a reason to. But, uh, here we go, I got my balloon stuffed. And what we're gonna do, let's go out to the lake. So. All right, so it's only 10 minutes from our house and I got all our stuff here today and going out to our lake. Let's see, I'm gonna take, taking my small pole, my carp bait, I always bring my carp bait, my carp pole, which is stuck. I'm like driving with three poles in the car. Man. All right, there we go. Got my carp pole. I take two carp poles. I'm gonna set two carp poles up while we do this. I always like carp fishing while I can. And set the stuff down here. A lot of stuff when you go fishing. You don't realize how much you take. At least I take. It feels like I take half the uh, fishing stuff I own when I go out. But what I do. Oh man, did I realize? Did you leave the shrimp in here from last time? I don't know. Oh, my son doesn't know if he left shrimp. Oh yes, I've had shrimp sitting in my car. Oh man, for 12 hours now. Luckily it wasn't hot. All right, let's go out to lake. All right, so this is taking a turn. We came out here to uh, go fishing, show you what we're doing. And my son lost the pole that goes into his rod. So now the rod just comes right out of his pole because he saw a bass and he thought he was going to go jump on it. So what we're looking for is the little pin that actually goes. Man, I don't know if I could even show you. It's right on that holds this reel in. So. We're looking for that now. So, I did take the time before things went crazy. I have my two poles set up. I have my pole set up over there and over there. They're hard to see. When the alarm goes off, you'll definitely hear it. Uh, they're set up. If you guys are interested, I'll show you about my carp fishing, but uh, do me a favor, click subscribe at the moment. And uh, I don't know, this is gonna be lost, I think at the moment. Till we find it. I don't know if it was lost yesterday when we were fishing out here or if it actually happened today. So, all right, man, that's my setup. So here's my plan. I'm gonna be using a really small hook. When I say small, man, this is really small because we got uh, panfish here. Oh, that sucker. That's a small one right there. It's smaller than my finger. Now I just have to worry about the fish eating it, so I'm actually concerned that this may be too small. But here's the setup that I'm thinking of using. Let me pull some line out here. This is my lightweight pole. This is actually more for ice fishing, a really small pan fish. And right now this is a floating bobber, and I was going to use the stopper. I thought that it'd be cool to set the balloon up this way and use this as the stopper to where to go. But I could simply just tie the balloon on right about here, but that's too easy, I think. What I want to do is actually slide it up. So I'm going to 
rework this whole thing. Give me a couple minutes, I'll be right back and I'll show you the setup I got. All right, so what I've done so far is I got my itty bitty little hook here. I have a clamp that I could take the hook off, change hook size. Then I have a little weight, and this right here is a little piece of plastic. It's just tubing, and this tubing is going to slide all the way up till it hits this little stopper here. Now I wasn't thinking, I, I just tied a little knot into this area, which is going to be a real pain because when I go to cast, it's going to get stuck in there. I've done this many times before, but should have been smart. I should have put a little bead at that point right here that would have stopped it and it wouldn't have that's basically what we do for these floating these floaters right here basically the string stop it stops it but you put a bead right here and a bead at the end so it doesn't get stuck into your hook and that slides up and down so i took that same little line the stopper line comes on see it in here pull one of these out put that down oh no a balloon went in the tackle box yeah a fun tackle box oh. actually it's this you put the string in you take that off and then you pull it and it tightens it but I'm actually just using that tube so that's what I'm using and I'm gonna inflate the balloon here Well, I think that's big enough. Now what I'm gonna do, I wanna, I'm gonna tie a knot right there, but, oh wait, I don't wanna do this. Okay, this is why I put the hook on here. I take this hook off. I don't wanna pop my balloon, so. I know, you think balloon people are bad putting stuff in their mouth, you should see fishermen. That's all we do is put stuff in our mouth. Okay. What I really wanna do is tie balloon onto this oh. Ooh, wait how am I doing this now right, I gotta take this yeah just tie it around the string Makes sense as I lose circulation to my finger There we go. Now that should allow it to slide up to the right depth. Slide up and down, and there we go. We got a floating balloon bobber. I'm gonna have to put some weight on here because this is not gonna sink. I'm not gonna put the hook on. What do I do with that weight? A yeah, real small little lead weight or silver weight. I don't know what they use nowadays. A little weight in here. Let's go for it. Let's take it out there and see what we got. Let's walk out there where we saw the carp. Whoa! Almost fell on my butt. Alright. Let's see how well this cast. No weight. That really wasn't very impressive at all. Let's see, I'm gonna have to possibly put some weight on here. Let's try this again. Uh, this is actually trolling too when you do balloon fishing like this. It drags all around. Just the slightest breeze, and this is just blowing. Ugh. This is a problem I had before when I tried balloon fishing. But, uh, it's hard getting it out there. Oops. There we go, it's starting to drift. I don't have a lot of line either. This is light line too. This is probably only two to five pounds. There we go. Alright, come on, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, the wind's just taking it. I could get this probably to go across the pond if I had more line. 
my luck, I'm going to get big catfish to take this puppy and I'm not going to be able to get it in because the line's too light. Here goes Mr. Smiley! Man, it's all the way out there. Should we try getting it to go all the way across? Let's see if we can get it all the way across here. Alright, nothing wants to take that trip so far. Alright, let's go. So here we are fishing with balloons. This is crazy. Like I said, I've done it before. I've used a big one. I've actually caught a fish on it. But see, now I don't know because hopefully I can tell if it goes down. Here's something split. Oh, That's my son. Oh, something just took it. Just a jig. Because if I reel it in and there's something on there, it's kind of stupid because I just reeled everything in. Uh, it's turning. Wait, no. Mr. Happy! Bye, Mr. Happy! I'm getting, as you can tell, my spool's getting down. Still letting it out. Let's live dangerously here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor, click subscribe. Leave me a comment if you like stuff like this, because, uh, hey, this is what I like doing part time if I'm not working, which nowadays is a lot of not working. But, uh, like I say, it's fishing. I got two poles over there. I got my uh, two carp poles set up. Hopefully, I'll get something on that. I was hoping to have something by this now. This is already drifting all the way out. I'm mid pond. Am I going to strike at this distance? Am I going to strike at this distance? I, I mean, it's going to be fun trying to reel it back. Trying to push it a little farther. So far, usually at this distance, we get a bite. But I don't know what's going on today. Like I'm telling you all, the fish are up close. The fish are up close. I don't want the fish up close. That's too easy. I mean, I have this cool balloon that's drifting halfway across the pond, and my son's saying I should fish three feet from it. All right, let's try that. All right. I'm It's all about catching fish. It's not sometimes about a balloon floating around. But really, this is what the video is about, is a balloon floating. Fishing with a balloon. I mean, all right, let me back off here. Let me cast it again. All right, right here. Oh, damn, my, my bait just went that way. My balloon went that way. That's not good. All right. All right, let me go get some more uh, Bait. Man, I hate when this hook gets wrapped around. They say it's such a small little hook. There we go. All right. Little bread. Little bread ball. There's no weight to this whatsoever. Let's see if I can do this again. Yay! See, I don't know if it's gonna, the bread's gonna sink down far enough. That's, oh man, there goes the wind again. The wind's got it. There it goes, drifting away. 
It wasn't windy when we first got out here. See, that's such a small little piece of bread. Maybe that's my problem. All right, let's go. Come on. We'll see what happens here. I'm swimming out there. Going farther. And I just want to see it bobble a little. Something. One little sad balloon just bobbing along there. I hook up another pole, but it takes too long to hook up the poles here. Oh, he's smiling at me. Look at that. Oh, you just you turn around. Hey, how you doing? Look. Come on, come up with. Now, see, that looks like something's on there. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. I'd see a little up and down movement. I'd see some kind of movement here. Uh, no, there's nothing on there. I'm pulling it. See, I think I'm going to have to put a weight on here. A little weight. So I don't think whatever's pulling it down. All right. Yeah, see, whatever took it off. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Go. I'm gonna go back to the shrimp. Shrimp stayed on better. Oh, is that the marshmallows that you had? You know, I brought marshmallows. Let's try a marshmallow. No, the way things are going, nothing's biting. Except me. Your marshmallows, you gotta eat them. Here, you want one? That was probably mean. <laughs> Sorry! Leave me a comment if you didn't like that. If you thought it was funny, leave me a comment. I don't know if they eat marshmallows. Do me a comment. Leave me a comment if you've ever fished with marshmallows. This is the first time I'm trying it. All right, so it's bad that I'm eating all the marshmallows. I don't even know. I've, I don't know. Do marshmallows even float? Let me have this one. I'm going to find out. Ugh. All right, let's go find out if these float even. My luck. I'm going to throw it out there. Big old fish is going to come out and jump up and eat it right away. Be really cool for the video. Marshmallows float. All right, then we gotta but with test the weight. Yeah, I don't know if the weight. I mean, the, this weight is so little. Oh, it went down. Okay, yeah. Okay, that'll work. All right, we're done with this uh, smiley face. It, it didn't bring me luck, so. Bye-bye, smiley face! Be gone! Get you off. Got scared there for a second. I don't want to cut my line. There we go. Alright. Oh, look, oh, you got that scrap? Thank you. Alright. Oh, man. Oh well, now it's single stuff. Okay, make sure I don't break it. That's a hurt. I mean, take out the other part then. I am. Okay. Jeez, man. Okay. Anybody else have a bossy kid? Probably everybody. All kids are bossy. All right, let me try this again. I mean, it should be easier this time. Geared for carp. Up, up, up. Gotta set the hook. No, I'm not gonna set the hook. I wanted to take it. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh, there finally. we go. Finally. finally. What is it? I have no idea. It's something small. I know, but something what kind? really small. A bluegill. Bluegill. Oh, there we go. Actually, it caught nice. Yay! Told you. Look at that. Nice little bluegill. I caught one. 
Oh, is that was the balloon? I don't think it's the balloon. I think it is. Here's the bluegill. Okay. It looks so big. Uh, back. All right. I'm going to try one more time. Let's see. Do me a favor, subscribe to this channel right now. Better yet, find the bell, click on the bell, and be notified with all the new videos. Or if you're an Instagram junkie, make sure you follow me on Instagram.